everyone and welcome this is jane from janeliberated.com i am here to add value to your life by helping you overcome fear shame resentment and you will never get stuck again in life ignore your mockers and move on do you know that nothing is wrong with you until you understand how human minds or how human beings operate, you might keep on hiding in shame because you have been mocked or embarrassed. There are things I put down to help us navigate through these teachings so that we can really get the lessons out of it. Sometimes people mock you or people laugh at you just because you are married married in the sense that they laugh at you or mock you oh you have gotten married to an old man oh you have gotten married to a married man oh you have gotten married to this or you have gotten married to a short fat thin man but i'm here to tell you today that until you understand how the mind of human beings work you can really not move on in life. When you are divorced, they mock you. Without them finding out the reason behind the divorce or the separation. What if you have been abandoned with kids? They will also laugh at you. Call you names like single mother, a woman that cannot really keep her relationship. My advice to you today is to ignore all your mockers and move on in life. Here is the reason. I was that woman that was mocked, laughed at, disgraced, called names, even by the very people I rely on. People I called friends. I could practically recall an incident when I was pregnant with one, the second of my daughters. Somebody came to me, someone I really cherish, and this person told me, how can you step too low to have a child for this man? I smiled. I did not allow it to get to me, but when the baby was born, the same person was the same person that came to me and was very happy and congratulated me that I have not taken the decision that people was telling me to do, to get rid or do anything stupid with that baby. But today, the same people that mocked me, the same people that laughed at me, the same people that called me names are the same people celebrating me. Although they may hide in the secret, although they may pretend they don't see what has happened or the changes that I have made in life, but secretly, I can feel it that they are really disappointed. But they don't have choice than to celebrate me when i look back today i begin to realize that if i have not moved on in life if i have not ignored my mockers i will not be mark that word i will not be the woman i have become today the question is how do you move on and how do you ignore your mockers this is it Learn to hold on to your faith in Christ. Learn to hold on to your belief. Believe in yourself. Believe in the finished work of Christ over your life that you are made or you are born for signs and wonders that no matter how many obstacles that comes your way, you are born to exploit. You are born to succeed in life. Though I was abandoned with kids, Four. But today, I am a proud mother. Why? Because I learned to move on and leave my mockers behind. Here is the secret. Enough of the book. I am here to tell you today that before you can really decide to move on in life, there is one thing, one thing, the secret that helped me that I'm giving you today. Be confident of who you are. Know that when you fall down, if you remain with your face to the ground, you will not be able to stand up. 
But when you fall down with your face up, you will be able to stand up, dust yourself and move on. Become that woman you are born to be. Become the man you are born to be and ignore all your mockers. Move on because the future, what the future holds lies in your hands. How you make your bed is how you will lie on it. I hope I have succeeded in adding just a little value to your life today. But remember, never you allow anyone to dim your light. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe, like and share these videos with your friends. You never know when I say videos, check my old videos, you will hear more of my story and your life will definitely never remain the same. But remember, I am your sister in Christ. Love you all. Bye.